And all the Jesuits gathered on the mountain, and they saith unto Uriah, When, when, Uriah, will we receive the giant star? And Uriah replied, Thursday. These books are the most important and essential old-fashioned style volumes ever. You must covet these religious treasures. The King John John Jesuit Jam's deluxe edition with bonus tracts. At only $19,000 for each edition. Get all 60. Spread the jam. Call now, 1-800, I got shit in my mouth. Call now, that's 1-800, I got shit in my mouth. <laughs> You're a freak with a microphone. You are sleeping. You do not want to believe. You are sleeping. But spring is here. Spring is coming. Yeah, I'm calling to complain about this idiot that were on the air a couple minutes ago. Hi there. Truck at dawn in the morning. Power 88 to Penguin. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. You're a freak with a microphone. Hi there. 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 Good morning. Hi there. Good morning. Checking down in the morning. Good morning. 88.1. Good morning. The penguin. Good morning. The power, good morning. Power penguin or something. Good morning. Some shit like that. Good, good morning. Uh, we are here uh, in the morning. It is um, uh, 7.32 in the a.m. Yep. On a Friday. All right. Mm, music back there from Ludicrous Midgets, Ungrateful Horses, All the Wolves, and Old Irish Toast and Peanut Butter, Butt Funnels, yeah. Artichokes from Anaheim, and Hostile Strangers. Music still to come from The Brides of Frankenstein, Rat Dance, Sam is for Fun, <laughs> VJK Talk, Wally White Cloud, The Henderson Silver Knights, Tuck in a Box, and the latest from Popcorn Chicken and DJ Ranch. DJ I Ranch. I that a lot. Yeah. Chuck. Yeah, that's my. That's favorite. right up your alley, isn't it? Huh? It it Just, certainly yeah. is right uh, right up there. Anyways, uh, we heard a little snippets there of the latest uh, Mark Lanigan episode. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, not. I didn't. I heard about it. I didn't actually hear anything until you. Uh, yeah, it. well, it's, so. it's 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 wild. He's doing his own weather now. You oh know, boy, he's, great! What I the guess he launched some sort of big complaint last week about how he didn't have any. What? correspondence or any reporters or whatever he said what did he say well what i heard he said is that he doesn't have any staff you know like what yeah right i thought yeah and so he know. figured well just like he was not actually playing music but doing his own versions of the songs on yeah. the on the log on playing the playlist keyboard. that he's supposed to be doing he is now just doing his own weather too oh my god you know that might be pretty good well i you know you might that that, that might be uh, that might be true. People are really enjoying the fact that that I want his. We weather. haven't fired the guy, and yeah. that he ritualistically, on a regular basis, loses his mind on the radio. Every I know weekend. that would be so like must hear radio. They're enjoying it. It's yeah, fun. who knows what the hell's going on? But we'll get right. real weather. The actual weather that we're going to yeah. be really having here in Southern Melonville from Sherry uh, pretty soon. Plus, uh, we are going to also. Uh, do some stuff that David Stress has really thrown together. <laughs> uh, he, he's calling it hippies throughout time. Oh, I'm not exactly yeah. sure what that is. And uh, we'll do. We'll get local news from you, Chuck. Right? Oh yeah, that part. That's great. And uh, maybe we'll even check back in with Mark Lanigan and see what's going on on his uh, Fun train wreck of a show. Funky weather. Mental breakdown he has on a regular basis. Gilbert yeah. Godfrey's joke of the day and what else? Gilbert Godfrey's joke of the day. Well, of course, more, yes. And great well, music. I, that goes without saying. All kinds of fantastic music. Fantastic. Excellent music. Music. And wait, didn't you get in trouble for that? Well, Famine? you know, and actually that brings up a good point. What? Something I did uh, want to talk about. What is this? Uh... Is this Radar's, like, leftover yes. breakfast stuff? Yes, it is. From taco little, time or some shit like that? Shit. And, and he's not even here. No. He was off for a remote. Oh, man, that, that pisses me off. Or something. He needs to clean up after himself before he takes off on one of his I things. Know. And why did he leave anyway? I don't I don't see anything scheduled. He's doing a remote. As far as, like, him doing a remote he, or anything? He is. He's doing a remote down at Doom. He what? At Doom Fest. At, oh, at Stoner Rock Doom Fest. Well, maybe, maybe that will be worth it going to him and seeing what's going on with you know, that. He, yeah. he, so he went down Yeah, there. he went down to do like a roving reporter oh, great. thing at Doomfest. Okay, and also, wait, wait, I almost... It's going to be good <laughs> stuff, man. I almost totally forgot that Kathy, my wife, made meatballs for mm, everybody. Yeah. So everybody's going to be able to try some of 
Kathy's meatballs. Yeah, I like okay. I like her Thank meatballs. You. That's enough. I love them. Um, so, anyways, yeah. But what I wanted to say was uh, we were talking about the the music yeah. right, that we're playing here at the at the, channel, the great music at the station. Yeah, on the air, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, boy, are you having problems this morning? It just gets harder and harder every day to get through this. Tell me about it. Um, okay, um, so <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that Max, our program director, Maxwell Vandershoot, yes. has been very unhappy with how... What? With what? He's he's unhappy with us? Yeah, well, well there's just well, let me finish. Very unhappy with how uh, I, I've what? been talking about the music that we play on the air. What's wrong with what you've been saying? It, well, just, you know, that I'm sarcastic about it and then i'm making fun of it and then i'm acting like it's not good and i call it you know crappy 80s and 90s dance music it is crappy 80s and 90s dance music well i i i realize that but he doesn't like that i even joke about it and so he wants to talk to me about it and i said oh, to him great. all right i'll talk to you on uh on monday yeah you know because we got the weekend coming up rocking weekend time uh, okay and i said i'd talk to him on monday and he said no i'm gonna talk to you on friday and i said well i gotta leave right after the show as soon as we're done at 9 a.m., i got to take off. And he says, well, I'll talk to you on the air. Uh, and I said, well, that's no way to talk no. to me, like, if you're going to scold me. Or yeah, that's me. awful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't talk to people on the air. No, you don't have, like, a meeting, it, a work meeting. with. Well, see, I'm afraid if we keep talking about it, he's just going to start r ringing that buzzer oh, over the little light we got rigged up to know that he's trying to talk to us. The red light. So let's just wait and see okay. what happens with that. With what? Well, you know what I mean. No, I don't. Okay. I'm totally confused. I don't know what the hell's going uh, on. Ah, boy. So Rich. do we want to do local news now? Bet. Yeah. Does that sound like a good, good thing to do? Yeah, we can do it. Chuck, are you ready with that? Can you not hear me? Okay. Jeez. Chuck and Don in the morning right here on Power 88.1, the Penguin, Southern Melonville's fantastic radio station with the best music in the world. How's that? Does that sound? No, it didn't sound yeah. sincere at all. Time for local news. Local Southern Melonville news yep. with Chuck. Take it away, Chuck. Local news here in Southern Melonville. I'm Chuck Reynolds for Chuck and Dawn in the morning at 88.1. Power, power to your penguins. What? Okay, uh, first day up here in local news. When is Father's Day brunch? Asks Grand Portland Chinese movie movie Hal Good Times. I got a friend in Spice Butt Butterland, too. But nobody's going to work with you, ASAP, asshole. That's what everybody says about him. What? How good times. Don't ever work for him. What the hell that was Grand that? Portland Chinese movie movie. What is that supposed to be? What you it just was did? just kind of like a warning to a not work with that guy. That's not news? Well, yeah. It's, I mean, this is small town news. Oh, my God. Okay. Just let me do the news what? before yeah. you have some sort of like <laughs> comment about whether or not it's yes. newsworthy. Because I know it's newsworthy oh. in the news on okay. the Melonville circuit, buddy. Um, wow. Okay. okay, next up, call FDIC Outlaw Disability Claims Denied. You may be owned this advertisement out there in Wyoming, but you're trying to spend time here in local Melonville with underage men and stronger, leaner, slow down 30th anniversary for Nuggets and Brand Nubians? Yeah, well, a type texting woman has got fat faces, so fuck you all. Everybody's not going to have to see or clear that. That's sort of like another warning. I don't understand this, this local warning. Melonville news. No, I know it's local what I don't understand what you don't understand. What I don't understand is you. You don't understand. Right. Good job, uh, Jay Stevens. And he's got a Grand Royal Oak Ranch local tarantula for sale. Go down there and see uh, what you can do uh, is have a lemon juice and, and a fresh prices with some fun minutes. You'll be surprised. And you might be moist. PSA, go haggle with Jerry. I have no idea what you are uh, talking yeah. about. Local Melonville News last but not least, the half bake Society was having another half bake sale. It's coming up again. It's annually. That means every year, you fucking faggots, get oh. down there and buy some goddamn muffins. Okay. Why do you that have to? That is local news. Thanks, Chuck. That was in Southern Melon. Yes. Shillin. Yeah. Vills. That was absolutely horrible. Of all the things. That was the worst local news I've ever do heard. What? Nobody understands. Can you do the. Um, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I promotion. Really, I mean, other, what's know, on tonight type stuff? You got to check out football. It's Friday yeah, it's, night it's football, not, like I said earlier in the show. It's April. There's no football. Yeah, but it's different because of the COVID season. It's like the Super Bowl is going to be in May. No, it's not. Well, that's what it is. So you're just going to be missing out while everybody's rocking to the fucking Super Bowl. Okay. 
Okay, you know, so the only other cross yeah. promotion I do is uh, on Local Channel 4, there's going to be a great interview with Jock <laughs> Torres and Brad Choice explaining that they were not responsible yeah. for the explosion of the Electric Magic Pizza's second location I can't on wait. 3rd and Mango. I can't wait to and watch that's, that. that's uh, with, you know, your roving reporter, uh, uh, Moody Wilson, and, and, and Moody Wilson and Matt Wilson. And we'll be doing it for you, a little duet team there with the channel four interviews channel four. also on reasonable pop culture tv is special 420 return to broadcasting i guess they've been off for like a week or so so does that mean we've been off because yeah. that because those lazy ass dudes have been off or what well, well, as far as being heard on Freeze Notable, I don't, I don't know either, but TV. they're coming back all day with a 420 programming festival, including the Stoner Rock and Doom Saloon. Yeah, okay. Uh, because it's just like, well, because this is Stoner what is, Rock holiday, 420. What is 420? April 20th. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's a holiday? Because that means Stone, because that means, because 420 means what? Uh, we, like, having a, smoke? A, a party or something. Smoking? Or that's the time of day that you smoke. Oh, at four. Like go out on the recess. Yeah. And smoke by, back behind the school on the on the stoner rock trails with the girls that smoke cigarettes and wear, you know, like those jean jackets have pictures of like Pat Benatar on them and stuff. Oh. Scorpions. You know what I'm talking about. I, no, I yeah, don't. Whatever. Anyways, it's all coming back on 420. You can <laughs> check it out with new episodes of everything, including the stoner rock gorilla jukebox. Stone Rock Editions of the Pit and Woo Wednesdays. All right, cool. Plus Captain's uh, album collection, Stone Rock Edition. Who knows what the fuck that is? Like girls who do one Okay, our uh, local channel 35 live here in Southern Millenville. We got um, uh, Late Night Tonight on the Night Flight movie. Uh, the Detective is Francis Ford Coppola's first film, Dementia 13. Ooh. And Jabberwocky. Plus on the Sunshine Factory channel, The Fudgies and the Animals, Mamas and Papas, and Donovan in Optical Sound. From 1968, a trip out film by Nancy Tucker that they run all the fucking time. Okay, why do you have to <laughs> well, say it like, like that? Six thousand times. Man. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Kind of sick of it, right? But anyways, yeah, that's that's all the information that there is worth printing on my phone. Okay, thank you, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, cut to David. David, stress. Serving up stress, serving up stress. Here's some stuff that David has to say. Yeah. Maybe it's a joke. Yeah. Maybe it's stuff. Yeah. Maybe he's going to show you how to yeah. cook something in the kitchen. Yeah. Maybe he's going to show you how yeah. to do some of the things. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, but I'm frightened by the sound of the telephone. Ring. Telephone. Ring. Oh, yeah. Take a shit. Okay, so David, are you ready for this? Are, are you ready for this? I certainly am. Ooh, are you ready for this? I very much am. This is David Stress. What is I this? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I really need to start listening to his bits before he does that. But oh, I have not done that for this one, so here we go. Yeah. Here is Serving Up Stress and something he's calling Hippies Throughout Time. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay, I just don't want to say it wrong. No, hippies it. Throughout Time. Yeah, all right. Here we go. I'm, do I'm doing it? Okay. And now, Serving Up Stress presents Hippies Throughout Time. Hippies in the 20s. Hey, sir, I'm going to play my troubadour mandolin for your enjoyment. Oh, don't scuff up my derby musketeer's hat with my cashmere suspenders. Check out myself, muffler man, in the chrome dome children been fleeced underwear, good sir. Hippies throughout time. Hippies in the 30s. Gentlemen's is Alaskan silverware. May I please ask of you if you have any dispensia, Dr. Wilden quick care ingredients, or may I trouble you for a little bit of heart care elixir, baby, or a headache powder? Yeah, heavy, or some sleepy time stop drinking tonic. Hippies throughout time, hippies in the 40s. By the chime of my railway match, you silver screws, ladies, size, and boys and gentlemen, I got your acme gall cure, fever remedy right here, headache powder, baby, more headache powder, baby, it's heavy, keep your animals healthy and wav moolah, you can save moolah too by worrying about the agricultural department, that's the horny goat weed, sister, hippies throughout time, okay, wow, that was, uh, Unexpected and in, uh, in in some in some ways wonderful, I guess. That was hippies throughout time, from David Stress and his 
segment today for serving up stress. Okay, all right. Well, stick around. We've got a lot more stuff. Uh, I have no idea how to react to half of the things that are going on here today, but whatever. Um, still to come, uh, we're going to try some of my wife's meatballs. That is, uh, for the last few years, been a big hit. Uh, Kathy made meatballs, so we're all really excited about that. And what what else is bon going appetite. on, kids? Oh, all I, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, some thi- lots of I for some stuff. Yeah, uh, Gilbert Godfrey joke of the day. How can I forget that? How can you forget uh, that? How maybe forget even that? some some more of Mark Lanigan's madness, and then of course, oh, weather, r- real weather, real weather right. with real Sherry Winters. Right after this, deal. Chuck and Don in the morning, eighty-eight point one, the Penguin. Hi there, power. Hi there, eighty-eight stuff. Hi there. <laughs> Tonight on MacGyver, Riptide gets too close to the kitchen and the heat burns the reins. Watch out, he's going to take the fall and Jenny is taking it all off and all. Speaking of fall tonight, it's the fall guy. Bikers held up in a Mexican restaurant with no windows. Use margarine in the Teen Angels' favorite movie game to date the football team. Action and spatulas and dispatch all on ABC tonight. Yeah, I'm calling to complain about those idiots that were on the air a couple minutes ago. K-R-A-C. 88.1 Power Radio The Penguin. Chuck and Dawn in the morning. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be a cold night. But spring is here. Spring has come. And so we're kind of in a weird transition. No more time. Each tear that falls from my eyes.
weather with Sherry Winters. Hey, what's going on, Sherry? Snaggins. Yeah, it's going good. We got some fun music and jams, and that is um, right. We're put, we're listening to the show on some speakers, and we got oh, cool. um some snacks and stuff. Snacks and things and items and stuff. And the kids are having a fun time. It's looking good. Nobody has found the golden egg yet. Oh but wow! Okay. The eggs are getting smaller and smaller, so I'm assuming we're getting closer and closer to finding that lucky win lucky winner. Okay, hopefully someone wins. Again, this is the 15th annual summer Southern Melonville Easter Egg Hunt Yay. at the Southern Melonville Elementary School. Open to everybody. Come down and have some fun times. It's on A Street and Bambada Drive. The cars are starting to line up and back up on A Street. Oh. So if you're driving down Gotta A down Street there. not to come here, maybe try to find a different route because... <laughs> it's getting backed up a little bit with everybody parking. Oh, okay. Um, again, it's still sun is shining. The wind has picked up a little bit, but not too much to make it too cold that we can't still enjoy ourselves. And it's yeah. warmed up to about 60 degrees, so really nice weather today. All Spring right. is coming into season. That sounds great, Again, Sherry. those East Lagoon and West Lagoon pools are going to be opening up. And the winner of this Easter egg, golden egg, is going to win a $25 gift card. Wow, cool. They found the egg. Huh? Uh, tell Sherry, Sherry, they found the egn Oh, I th you have a winner? Oh, wow. We, we found the golden egg, guys. Oh, cool. Sherry, I got another one. I got the golden Wh egg. Yay, Sherry. Whoa. Oh, mm -hmm. my. Yay. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. This guy a problem. Um, uh, did he really <laughs> win? <laughs> is that the super fan? Oh, gosh. Did the super fan Justin win? Justin, now. I got it. And find the golden hey, egg? Great. It's okay, Sherry. Uh, oh, my the Lord. The super fan has won the golden egg. No, <laughs> no, he. the kids did not win. It's oh, this that's dang terrible. super fan who won it. Hey, how old are you, sir? How'd you get in this thing? How did he even get into competition? He wasn't even here at the beginning. Okay. That is really This weird. is rigged. Um, oh, well, okay. We're going to go said to that. traffic because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. All right. Here's some traffic from Sherry. Okay. Rainbow and Gonzo, that fight had cleared up. Good news. On Jones Bridge, it is not smooth sailing. Um, there are a semi truck. There. Get back here with that egg. What is no, going no, on? No, no, everything's okay. They're they're just is trying to. He's um. Well, you know. Anyways, no, I um, don't. The I truck don't is pulled over with the cops. Crazy he pulled the, over a big truck on Jones Bridge, and I'm trying to get the information to the people, okay? And the sunset <laughs> and Def Jam <laughs> Highway is finally cleared up. So if you need to get out of here, you can take that. Um, <laughs> and like I said, on here. A Street cars are backing up because they're parking because they wanted to enjoy themselves at this thing and sure. have a chance at winning the egg. But I guess that's over now. So yeah. he won all the stuff. That is weird. How did he? Is there an age limit to this contest or something? I mean, what? Yeah. All right. Well, I got to get off out well, of here and try how? to deal with what's going on here. And we're I appreciate try to get that. Some prizes or something because I don't know if he really won it. I mean. Did, okay. okay, so how, I don't know. how did he get Anyways, into competition? Anyways, I'm Sherry Winters, 88.1 okay. KRIC, the Penguin. How did the super fan get into the competition? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know there if there was an age limit. There should have been. Yeah, I mean, of course just, there should have been. Why this guy? Like, he's always, I, like, how, how do you know? Like, okay. Who knows? Anyways, um... <laughs> Sherry Winters, 88.1, the madhouse. No. Nah. <laughs> KRIC with the weather and the traffic and the crazy woo, woo, woo. super fan guy. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so that was weather with Sherry. All right. Thank yeah. you very much Great for weather. all that wonderful. Getting getting into the spring times and summer times. I'm happy about that. Information. Still Information. Come, uh, radars remote from Jesus. Stoner Rock Doom Fest 21. All Does right. that mean there's been 21 Stoner Rock Doom Fests here in 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 Melonville? No. No. Okay. No, there hasn't been that <clears throat> uh, It's just the year. All right. I don't know. What, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then, of course, uh, uh, Dude, yeah. maybe some more wise words from David Stress. <laughs> I know. I I don't. Or not. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey's, <laughs> not. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey's <laughs> joke of the day. Uh, <laughs> some uh, yeah, yeah. extra weather. We'll call it extra weather with Mark Lanigan, possibly. You call it that. And um, just all kinds of great stuff. Oh, I forgot. Here they are. Here they Ooh, are, everybody. Okay. I got a new one. Plate here for everybody. Meatballs. This is some of yeah, uh, Kathy's Thank you. world famous Italian meatballs. You know, Kathy is uh, comes from a long tradition of Italian goombas. Uh, her family huh? is uh, made men in the mafia. Oh. So if you don't like these, don't say you don't like them. Or you could find yourself 
getting in your car this afternoon and having it blow you to sh to shit. For real? Is that well, real? one thing that her family really specializes is they specialize in car bombs. Holy so let's shit. not say anything fucking retarded. Here okay, we go. Okay, whatever. Let's have some. <laughs> I got hey, mine. You guys, here. Does everyone get one? Okay. Yeah, I got mine. Yeah, so oh, everyone tastes okay. it at the same time. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Well, what do you think? I, I think they're great. Yep. But of course, you're going to think right. I'm just saying that. No, they are good. Well, they're very, very moist. I think they're very really good. They've got a lot of flavor. Yeah, they're real good. I like them very much. And I don't want to die. What do you think? No, no, I don't either. You I think they're good? Just, I'm just being honest. Okay, so okay. that's, uh, that's a yes from Aunt. Chuck and David. What do you think? I think they're great. I want to live. <laughs> I don't want to be blown up in a car. All right. Either way, I'm going to have I another one because I honestly These are spicy. Uh, feel that they're good. Oh, come on now. And I'm probably, well, no, I'm just saying. I'm probably the only one in here who's telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Okay. I got to drink something. Now what the hell are we doing? Let's uh, let's hit that joke oh. of the day. It's time. Whoa. Wow. That one, that was a spicy. That was a spicy meatball. Yes. I have one of these uh, uh, Italian sodas. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, well, uh, help yourself to a Italian. An Italian uh, ice. Sparkling water there. What is this called? The polani, polani, I see, I see, I see, sparkling. What? I don't know. An old Jew is taking a walk. He sees a lamb, picks up the lamb, rubs it. A genie pops out. <laughs> the genie says, "I'll grant you one wish." So the old Jew reaches into his pocket, takes out a crumpled map, and he says, "You see this area? This is called the Middle East." There's been nothing but war and bloodshed here for centuries. Can you do something? And he, uh, the <laughs> genie goes, even with my power, I can't do anything about that area. <laughs> Can I grant you another wish? So he says, well, I've been married for 40 years. And my wife has never given me a blowjob. <laughs> Could you, can you get her to do that for me just once? And the genie goes, can I look at that map again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. That's the uh, Gilbert Gottfried joke of the day, everybody. The Gilbert Gottfried joke of the day. It's called Mitopole. Mitopole. Polani. I see. I see. I see. It's sparkling. <laughs>
weather as it comes. This is one of the, this is kind of a spring storm. Uh, April showers, you know, things come down, come and go. And this is what we got coming for us is some April showers coming right at us. Right, one more, uh, the Savo, and one more, one more, yeah, wow, take that, take that. Ah. <laughs>